On the 20 slides shown below, I present the original photographs of the Second World War from the German archive, which are in my collection. These photos are from my collection department, Wehrmacht on the Eastern and Western Fronts. If you like it, subscribe to my YouTube, like it, so you don't miss the new weekly presentations. If you would like to order 5 inches by 7 inches copies of these photos from the original, you can specify which photos you would like to receive. Laboratory quality. Enjoy your viewing. The Messerschmitt Bf 109 is a German World War II fighter aircraft that was, along with the Falker Wolf FW 190, the backbone of the Luftwaffe's fighter force. The Bf 109 first saw operational service in 1937 during the Spanish Civil War and was still in service at the end of World War II in 1945. 3. It was one of the most advanced fighters when it first appeared with an all-metal monocoque construction, a closed canopy, and retractable landing gear. It was powered by a liquid-cooled, inverted V-12 aero engine. It was called the Mi-109 by Allied air crew and some German aces, even though this was not the official German designation. In 1942, it began to be partially replaced in Western Europe by a new German fighter, the Volker Wolf FW-190, but it continued to serve in a multitude of roles on the Eastern Front and in the defense of the Reich, as well as in the Mediterranean theater of operations and with Erwin Rommel's Afrika Korps. It was also supplied to several of Germany's allies, including Italy, Finland, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Croatia, and Slovakia. More aerial kills were made with the Bf 109 than any other aircraft of World War II. Many of the aerial victories were accomplished against poorly trained and badly organized Soviet forces in 1941 during Operation Barbarossa. The Soviets lost 21,200 aircraft at this time, about half to combat. If shot down, the Luftwaffe pilots might land or parachute to friendly territory and return to fight again. Later in the war, when Allied victories began to bring the fight closer, and then in German territory, Bombing raids supplied plenty of targets for the Luftwaffe. This unique combination of events, until a major change in American fighter tactics occurred very early in 1944, that steadily gave the Allies daylight air supremacy over the Reich, led to the highest ever individual pilot victory scores. 105 Bf 109 pilots were each credited with the destruction of 100 or more enemy aircraft. 13 of these men scored more than 200 kills, while two scored more than 300. Altogether, this group of pilots was credited with a total of nearly 15,000 kills. Though no official ace status existed in the Luftwaffe, the term expert was used for an experienced pilot irrespective of his number of kills, using the allied definition of pilots who scored five or more kills. More than 2,500 Luftwaffe fighter pilots were considered aces in World War II. Against the Soviets, Finnish flown Bf 109Gs claimed a victory ratio of 25 to 1. The Junkers Ju 87 or Stuka, from Sturz Kampflugzeug, dive bomber, is a German dive bomber and ground attack aircraft. Designed by Hermann Pohlmann, it first flew in 1935. The Ju-87 made its combat debut in 1937 with the Luftwaffe's Condor Legion during the Spanish Civil War of 1936-1939 and served the Axis in World War II from beginning to end, 1939-1945. The aircraft is easily recognizable by its inverted gull wings and fixed spatted undercarriage. Upon the leading edges of its fared main gear legs were mounted ram air sirens known as Jericho Trumpets, de, which became a propaganda symbol of German air power and of the so-called Blitzkrieg victories of 1939-1942, as well as providing Stuka pilots with audible feedback as to speed. The Stuka's design included several innovations, including automatic pull-up dive brakes under both wings to ensure that the aircraft recovered from its attack dive even if the pilot blacked out from the high G-forces. 
The Ju-87 operated with considerable success in close air support and anti-shipping roles at the outbreak of World War II. It led air assaults in the invasion of Poland in September 1939. Stukas proved critical to the rapid conquest of Norway, the Netherlands, Belgium and France in 1940. Though sturdy, accurate, and very effective against ground targets, the Stuka was, like many other dive bombers of the period, vulnerable to fighter aircraft. During the Battle of Britain of 1940-1941, its lack of maneuverability, speed and defensive armament meant that it required a heavy fighter escort to operate effectively. After the Battle of Britain, the Luftwaffe deployed Stuka units in the Balkans campaign, the African and the Mediterranean theaters and in the early stages of the Eastern Front War, where it was used for general ground support, as an effective specialized anti-tank aircraft and in an anti-shipping role. Once the Luftwaffe lost air superiority, the Stuka became an easy target for enemy fighters, but it continued being produced until 1944 for lack of a better replacement. By 1945 ground attack versions of the Falkavulf FW190 had largely replaced the Ju-87, but it remained in service until the end of the war in 1945. Germany built an estimated 6,000 Ju-87s of all versions between 1936 and August 1944. Oberst Hans Ulrich Rudel became the most successful Stuka pilot and the most highly decorated German pilot of the war. Johannes Hans Seifert, the 6th of October 1915, the 25th of November 1943, was a German Luftwaffe military aviator and fighter ace during World War II. He is credited with 57 aerial victories achieved in 439 combat missions. This figure includes 11 aerial victories on the Eastern Front, and further 46 victories over the Western Allies, including three four-engined bombers. Born in Pinneberg, Seifert grew up in the Weimar Republic and Nazi Germany. He joined the military service in the Luftwaffe and was trained as a fighter pilot. Following flight training, he was posted to Jagdgeschwader 26 Schlagitter, JG 26, 26th Fighter Wing. Flying with this wing, Seifert claimed his first aerial victory on 10 May 1940 on the Western Front during the Battle of France fighter aircraft. He was made Staffel Kapitan, squadron leader, of 3. Staffel, 3rd squadron, of JG-26 in March 1940 and in July 1941, Gruppenkommander, group commander, of I Gruppe of JG-26. Following his 36th aerial victory, he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on 7 June 1942. In January 1943, his unit was posted to the Eastern Front. In September 1943, he was given command to Gruppe of JG-26. He was killed in action in mid-air collision with the Lockheed P-38 Lightning on 25 November 1943 near Béthune, France. Seifert personally appealed to Adolf Galland, the General der Jagdflieger, General of the Fighter Force, and his former Jeschwader Commodore, Wing Commander, of JG-26, to be placed on active duty. In consequence, his tour of the RLM ended and he returned to France in September 1943 and was appointed Grupp in Commander 2. Grupp of JG-26, replacing Hauptmann Johannes Naumann in this capacity. On 10 October, 8 Bomber Command targeted Munster with 274 Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress bombers. Leading his two. Gruppe from Rhino Airfield, Seifert claimed a B-17 shot down northeast of Rhino. Four days later, during the second Schweinfurt raid, Seifert shot down a B-17 bomber from the 305th Bombardment Group, which lost 13 of its 16 aircraft, near Maastricht. On 25 November 1943, Seifert led 6. and 8. Staffel of JG-26 against the Assaf Lockheed P-38 Lightning fighters of the 55th Fighter Group over Lille. During combat, 
Seifert FW 190A6, where number 470006, factory number, collided with a P38, and crashed near La Couture, 5 km, 3.1 miles, south of Estes, killing both pilots. The American pilot, Lieutenant Manuel Aldicoa bailed out but his parachute had failed to deploy properly and he fell to his death. Seifert however, never attempted to leave his FW-190, his body was recovered from the wreckage. Posthumously, he was promoted to the rank of Oberstleutnant, Lieutenant Colonel, The junk is due 52 thirds of a meter, nicknamed Tantuju, Dantju, and Iron Annie, is a transport aircraft that was designed and manufactured by German aviation company Junkers. Development of the Ju 52 commenced during 1930, headed by German aeronautical engineer Ernst Zindel. The aircraft's design incorporated a corrugated duralumin metal skin as a strengthening measure, which was very unusual at the time. The Ju-52's maiden flight was performed on 13 October 1930. It was initially designed with a single engine, however, it was produced in quantity as a trimotor. The primary early production model, the Ju-52 thirds of a meter, was principally operated as a 17-seat airliner or utility transport aircraft by various civil operators during the 1930s. Following the rise of Nazi Germany, thousands of Ju-52s were procured as a stable military transport of the nation. The Ju-52-3MG7E was the principal production model. The Ju-52 was in production between 1931 and 1952. During its service with Lufthansa, the Ju-52 had proved to be an extremely reliable passenger airplane. This positive experience contributed to its adoption by the Luftwaffe as a standard aircraft model. In 1938, the 7th Air Division had five air transport groups with 250 Ju-52s. The Luftwaffe had 552 Ju-52s at the start of the Second World War. Though it was built in great numbers, the Ju-52 was technically obsolete. Between 1939 and 1944, 2,804 Ju-52s were delivered to the Luftwaffe, 1939, 145, 1940, 388, 1941, 502, 1942, 503, 1943, 887, and 1944, 379. The production of Ju-52s continued until around the summer of 1944, when the war came to an end, 100 to 200 were still available. Ju-52 approaching Stalingrad, 1942. Lightly armed, and with a top speed of only 265 km per hour, 165 miles per hour, half that of a contemporary hurricane, the Ju-52 was very vulnerable to fighter attack and an escort was always necessary when flying in a combat zone. 
Many Ju-52s were shot down by anti-aircraft guns and fighters while transporting supplies, most notably during the desperate attempt to resupply the trapped German 6th Army during the final stages of the Battle of Stalingrad in the winter of 1942-1943. From 24 November 1942 to 31 January 1943, 488 aircraft were recorded as lost, this number included 266 Ju-52, 165 He 111, 42 Ju-86, 9 FW-200, 5 He 177 and 1 Ju-290, and about 1,000 flight personnel. Joachim Munchberg the 31st of December 1918, the 23rd of March 1943, was a German Luftwaffe fighter pilot during World War II and an ace credited with 135 air victories. The majority of his victories were claimed over the Western Front, with 33 claims over the Eastern Front. Of his 102 aerial victories achieved over the Western Allies, 46 were against Supermarine Spitfire fighters. He was given command of JG-26's 2. Gruppe, 2nd Group, in September 1941 and was then posted to Jagdgeschwader 51, JG-5151 SD Fighter Wing, on the Eastern Front, in July 1942. Serving as a Jeschwader Commodore, Wing Commander, in training under JG-51 Wing Commander Karl Gottfried Nordmann, he claimed his 100th aerial victory on 5 September 1942 for which he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves and swords on 9 September 1942, his score then at 103 aerial victories. On 1 October 1942 Munchberg was given command of Jagdgeschwader 77, JG 77, 77th Fighter Wing, operating in the Mediterranean theater. He died of wounds following a mid-air collision during combat near Mnassi, Tunisian on 23 March Wilhelm Hugo Speller, the 7th of February 1885, the 2nd of April 1953, also known as Hugo Speller, was a German military aviator in World War I and a general felt marshal in the Luftwaffe during World War II. Speller was captured by the Allies and charged with war crimes in the High Command trial at the subsequent Nuremberg trials but was acquitted. He was again acquitted in June 1949 following a second hearing before a court in Munich. The court concluded that Speller had never been a member of the Nazi party nor one of its affiliate organizations. After the war, he lived quietly and died in Munich on 2 April 1953. He was buried at the village cemetery in Tining, Bavaria. Joachim Friedrich Huth, 31 July 1896 the 27th of March 1962, was a German general in the Luftwaffe during World War II and the Air Force of the Bundeswehr in West Germany. Huth retired from the military service in 1961 holding the rank of Generalleutnant. With Adolf Hitler's rise to power and the remilitarization of Germany, Huth re-entered the military service of the Luftwaffe on 1 March 1934, holding the rank of Hauptmann. He became the Jeschwader Commodore of the Zerschuregeschwader 26 horsed vessel. Who earned the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on the 11th of September 1940 in this position for the successful leadership of his fighter wing in the Battle of France and Battle of Britain. Huth commanded various fighter divisions from 1942 until 1944 before taking command of the one. Jagged Corps. First Fighter Corps, on 26 January 1945. He held this position until the end of the war, when he was taken prisoner by the British forces. 
he was released in 1946. In 1956, Huth joined the Bundeswehr after the remilitarization of the Federal Republic of Germany, holding the rank of Generalmajor. He led the Luftwaffe school at Fustinfeldbruck and, until his retirement. Joachim Munchberg, the 31st of December 1918, the 23rd of March 1943, was a German Luftwaffe fighter pilot during World War II and an ace credited with 135 air victories. The majority of his victories were claimed over the Western Front, with 33 claims over the Eastern Front. Of his 102 aerial victories achieved over the Western Allies, 46 were against Supermarine Spitfire fighters. Born in Friedrichsdorf, Prussia, now in Poland, Munchberg volunteered for military service in the Wehrmacht of Nazi Germany in 1936. Initially serving in the army, he transferred to the Luftwaffe, Air Force, in 1938. Following flight training, he was posted to Jagdgeschwader 234, JG 234, 234th Fighter Wing, in October 1938. He was transferred to Jagdgeschwader 26 Schlagitter, JG 26, 26th Fighter Wing, a year later and was appointed adjutant of the 3rd. Gruppe, 3rd Group. He fought in the Battle of France and received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross following his 20th aerial victory and during the Battle of Britain. He died of wounds following a mid-air collision during combat near Mnesi, Tunisian on 23 March 1943. Alfred Grislavsky, 2 November 1919, 19 September 2003 was a German Luftwaffe military aviator during World War II, a fighter race credited with 133 victories claimed in over 800 combat missions. The majority of his victories were claimed over the Eastern Front, with 24 claims over the Western Front. Of his 24 victories over the Western Allies, 18 were four-engined bombers. Born in Varna, Ital, Grislavsky grew up in the Weimar Republic and Nazi Germany. Following his compulsory Reich labor service, Reichsbeatsdienst, he joined the military service of the Luftwaffe in 1937. He completed flight and fighter pilot training in 1940 and was posted to Jagdgeschwader 52, JG 52, 52nd Fighter Wing. Flying with this wing, Grislavsky on 1 September 1941 during Operation Barbarossa, the German invasion of the Soviet Union. In July 1942, he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross and claimed his 100th aerial victory in April 1943. In June 1943, Grislavsky was wounded by a blast from a landmine. Following his convalescence, he was posted to the Western Front where he was made Staffel Kapitan, squadron leader, of the newly formed 1. Staffel, 1st Squadron, of Jagdgrupp Sud, JGR Sud, Fighter Group South, in August 1943. In November 1943, he was transferred and appointed Staffel Kapitan of 1. Staffel of Jagdgeschwader 1 Nudet, JG 1, 1st Fighter Wing. Here, he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves in April 1944. Then transferred to 11. Staffel of Jagdgeschwader 53, JG 53. 53rd Fighter Wing, Grislavsky flew his last combat mission on 26 September 1944 when he was shot down and wounded, spending the rest of the war in hospitals and convalescence. After the war, Grislavsky worked as a truck driver and later as a janitor. He died on 19 September 2003 in Hern. The Junkers Ju-87 or Stuka, from Sturz Camp Flugzeug, dive bomber, is a German dive bomber and ground attack aircraft. Designed by Hermann Pohlmann, it first flew in 1935. 
The Ju-87 made its combat debut in 1937 with the Luftwaffe's Condor Legion during the Spanish Civil War of 1936-1939 and served the Axis in World War II from beginning to end, 1939-1945. The Ju-87 operated with considerable success in close air support and anti-shipping roles at the outbreak of World War II. It led air assaults in the invasion of Poland in September 1939. Stukas proved critical to the rapid conquest of Norway, the Netherlands, Belgium and France in 1940. Though sturdy, accurate, and very effective against ground targets, the Stuka was, like many other dive bombers of the period, vulnerable to fighter aircraft. During the Battle of Britain of 1940-1941, its lack of maneuverability, speed and defensive armament meant that it required a heavy fighter escort to operate effectively. Once the Luftwaffe lost air superiority, the Stuka became an easy target for enemy fighters, but it continued being produced until 1944 for lack of a better replacement. By 1945 ground attack versions of the Falkavul Fef W-190 had largely replaced the Ju-87, but it remained in service until the end of the war in 1945. Germany built an estimated 6,000 Ju-87s of all versions between 1936 and August 1944.